Hello everybody, it's Anna here and today I'm coming with a new macrame hack video. You guys have loved that sped up version of a double half hitch knot that I was showing you in this um, three macrame hacks video. And today I thought I would show you how I have adapted that to a vertical double half hitch knot. So the original one in that other video, I've seen that from somebody else, um, done somewhere else. But this one, I had to rack my brain really hard <laughs> to figure out how to make it easier. And now I'm happy to share with you. So I've got like a dummy project here to show you. I've got these white um, filler cords and then this dark green working cord and you see i've already attached the working cord with the first vertical double half hitch i won't be showing you how to start it there's plenty of other videos out there that show you that so let's get a close-up so i can teach you how to do this so let's imagine you want to continue this row of the vertical double half hitches with this cord what you would normally do is first a loop here and because this is a super long cord that I'm working with, which normally that is the case if you're doing these knots, then it takes a really long time to pull it through. And then you do the other loop and tighten it. So really long, right? Well, to make it shorter, and here I'm showing you just the sped up version of that, this is the trick and done. Okay, now let me show you a slowed down version. So I'm making the two loops on this cord and then pulling the filler cords through those two loops. So the two loops look like this. So once again, I'm taking the cord and the first loop goes behind, the cord goes behind that cord I'm holding. And then the second loop goes so that the rest of the cord is hanging above where it was before. So I hope this makes sense. And you then put the loops together, kind of face them upward or you know to the side so that you can pull the filler cords through and then you take the upper loop and you pull it to this side and then you take the rest of the cord and pull it as well you still need to be um careful that you're tightening the cords in the right way so that they you know the, the finished knot looks nice so let's do one more so first loop like this second loop like this put them together pull the cords through and then first the upper half gets pulled and then the second half and one last time first behind then second one above so that this cord ends up in the middle, pull them together, pull the both of the filler cords right through and tighten. We've reached the end of the row and let's imagine we want to do the second row underneath going to the left. So here we will have to change it up and have to do first a loop on a left hand and then another loop on the right hand. But again, like before, the first loop, the string goes underneath it. And then in the second loop, the string is on top of this cord. You put the left loop onto the right loop and then you pull your cords through. And then again, you tighten first the top loop and then the bottom one. Okay, one more. 
first loop goes underneath, second loop goes above, first on the second, chords through, one tight, and then the second tightening. And there you go. So I hope you could see the difference in the speed that I was able to pick up when doing the trick. Now I know that difference isn't as big as it is with the horizontal double half hitch knot because here you're only able to put on one um, double half hitch knot at a time, like only pull through one set of chords through one of the you know two hoops. But still, I think it does make a difference. Now the other added benefit is that when you're not pulling the long cord through, you're not damaging it as much. Now with the braided cords, it's not as visible, but if you're using either single twist or three ply cords, you will see that as you're pulling them a lot through, you know, like pulling through the loop, etc., those cords will get untwisted. And so if you're not doing this fast method, if you're doing it you know, manually, you will slowly start seeing a difference in the way the knots look because the cords get more untwisted. So that's also why I like doing it this way to keep my cords nice and tight. So I hope you guys will find this trick as useful as I did. Um, now I am going to make a wall hanging in one of my next videos using this trick. So that's why I thought I would just make the separate video on it to get you ready for it. And I'll soon see you in that next macrame project video. Bye everyone.